seen elements of wealth and prosperity that we should give honor to and we should celebrate because there is a spirit behind it and the spirit behind it is the spirit of Ajay Festival and it is very connected to our day-to-day -day life activities give honor to whom honor is due God created wealth God created prosperity God created we the entire humanity but at some point the world of the spiritual world that's the world of divinity existed several thousands of years before humanity one of the world of divinity is Aji, in which in Ife it has been from time immemorial before creation of humanity it has been like that in terms of celebration of wealth but to the glory of God a particular race actually discovered it first and the truth be told the race that first discovered prosperity and wealth and they really nurtured it are the Igbo race the Igbos first discovered it through their ancestral background the lineage of Obatala discovered the prosperity and wealth in terms of the divinity world and that's the reason why today the race of Igbo people they're very very particular and they have very good expertise when it comes to commerce they are very distinct all over the world there is no place in the world that you will go that you will find it an Igbo man and the same goes with the Jews there is this mistake that the world usually make they make this mistake that the Igbos came from the Jews no it is the other way around the truth be told the first human race that existed was the Igbos before the Jews and we were all living together at the center of tropical rainforest which is the art of the whole thing the land of expansion we were all living together as one big happy family before before they started moving clockwise they started moving towards the eastern part of the world where they started settling so the race of the Jews and the Igbos are very similar but the Igbos are way older than the Jews they are both commercially driven they are both enterprise in nature they are both driven by wealth because that is their ancestral belief that's the race they belong to in Nigerian economy today and the entire black race if you don't give honor to the Igbos in terms of commerce and trade you are just deceiving yourself so the truth be told let us go back to our history where we all came from ideally the Igbos are supposed to join us to celebrate this festival because it belongs to them and the entire human race and the Yoruba race we are just the custodian because at some point we we're all living together here so let us realize what connects us what connects us is more important than, than what brings us that separates us this is one of the major things that connects us together so I want to use this medium of this festival to reach out to them for them to dig out more fact about their history the main scholars in Igbo land to fact find their roots and ascertain the fact that we are all living together as one big happy family and Igbos they don't joke with color not and we use kola nuts to appease the spirit of Aji, the four pieces of kola nuts. It was first discovered from Yoruba land. We are the major growers, even across the entire continent of the black race. So the relevance of wealth and prosperity as a festival is important. Everybody in life wants wealth. Everybody wants prosperity. And that is what we are praying for for Nigeria. We have done several festival of wealth in Ife that we have prayed for the country, for the country to prosper, for the country to take another shape. And it has actually come to pass. This year, our theme 
is for God to re-engineer Nigeria and bring Nigeria to the path of prosperity. We have prayed today. We know that God will answer our prayers. We have prayed like two years ago when dollar was so high. We prayed within the next seven days. We said it here when we did Ajay Festival and dollar crashed very, very rapidly. But this time around, we want a turnaround in Nigerian economy. And we prayed fervently for Nigerian youth, for them to take their position and leadership role. So this festival of wealth and prosperity has a very strong link to our way of life, to everything we do on a daily basis. We belong to one big happy family as a race. We all have to strive towards how to make things better for each and every one of us.